Hello everyone, welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. So, the coup is going to happen in November. We are producing one jet fighter a day at this point. By the time the coup comes around, we should have enough jet fighters to have the China Sea, East China Sea, all completely taken over with jet fighters and shut down. Yellow Sea, we're already pretty close to having enough. If we look at it, we're at about 200 now, total fighters. So we're very, very close to having enough to get control of the Yellow Sea. Rest that from Japan. Uh, so if we can take the uh, East China Sea as well, we can actually stage some sort of naval invasion. We just need complete air superiority on one of their naval bases. If we can get just one of them, we can land, hold the line, and wait for the British to catch up. It's really sad that we have to do it, that the British won't. Like, it just... It, you'd think they would. I mean, they have the, the aircraft, they have the troops, they have the resources... And they're just not doing anything. It's honestly very frustrating. I didn't build any aircraft until now because we didn't... Like, we were never the ones that needed to build the aircraft. You know, the, the AI always had enough and they were always using it sufficiently, well enough. But... That's not the case anymore. The AI completely derped out and now just refuses to finish off Japan. So now we just sit and we wait for aircraft. We sit and we wait. Meanwhile, we continue to have our three boats bomb the Italian fleet, the Italian and Japanese. So China, very, very close. We're 50.01. China is super, super close to being democratic. I feel like we're right at that tipping point because it keeps going backwards just a little bit. Like it's, yeah, it's just going backwards. But it's growing very slowly, but it is growing. Afghanistan, 44.81. We're getting you there. 8-4. We're getting you there. You are a pain, Afghanistan. And Japan, 38.46. Goes to 4-9. We'll probably tick 5-3. There we go. Battlefield support. Cool. Naval mission efficiency, plus 10%. That's what you want to see. Absolutely what you want to see. But China, you're just like holding on. 50.05 still. Now it's 04. Rocket effort. 01. Ugh. We may not be able to get China there. We're trying really hard. But it's just hanging in the balance at 50% with China. Very frustrating. Japan is growing. 38.76. Wait, are they growing? 7.9. Yeah. Yeah, they're growing. Okay. It'd be nice if the Republic of Tibet entered. Remember, the Arabian Republic entered, which is just funny. I find that to be very funny. 45.32, 35, it's just gonna take forever. Because Iraq is sitting at 50.50, right? 50.5, they're super close as well. We're not doing anything for Iraq anymore because they're close enough, but. Jeez, can't quite get China. That's all right. 
How is our aircraft doing? Thoroughly controlling the skies. Wow. We have just destroyed their numbers in the region. That is fantastic. That is so fantastic. All right. So next will be to take over the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea. Very close. I'd also like to get the uh, Gulf of Thailand and the Straits of Malacca all sorted out as well because they have been a little frustrating when we tried to send our Navy over. That has been a bit of a choke point. So if we could get that stuff sorted out as well, that'd be awesome. But for now, the big weight is on controlling basically this whole area between Korea, Japan, and China. This whole region right here. If we can control that, then we can start launching invasions. We're very close to being able to do exactly that, though. So, U-500 will be transitioned over to here. Uh, I feel like we have 379. I feel like that's a sufficient number of aircraft. So now we're going to try and just completely decimate any potential air attacks over the Yellow Sea. I don't know why it's called the Yellow Sea, by the way. I, that seems kind of peculiar. Alright. Assign all. Wait. Done. And then... Here we go. Oh, wait, is that not the right region? That's down there. Home Islands, that's up here. Do you have anything else? Hokkaido? Sure, we'll bomb Hokkaido. There it goes. Goodbye, Hokkaido. Alright, pull back. Pull back. So, how are you feeling? 53% now. Good. Getting you just a little bit lower with every bomb that's dropped. Goodbye, Hokkaido. How are we looking over the Yellow Sea? Beautiful. We have almost complete air superiority over the Yellow Sea. That is exactly what you want to see. Absolutely. Hopefully we can help save the British. Because they've been having a hard time. You know that. They've been having a very hard time. So, here's hoping we're given enough. Hey, they lost another sub. They're down to two subs now. Wow. They had six. Now they're down to two. Our destroyers just won't let the submarines go. They're trying to sink them, and simultaneously, uh, we are trying to uh, use naval bombers on them as well. Yeah, I know. We're not producing fighters anymore. We're producing jet fighters. Honestly, I'd much prefer to produce jet fighters, so don't worry about the fighters. If we run out, we run out, you know? It's no problem. And we are losing some. For sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to be losing some. But I'm not concerned. Ultimately, I'm really not. Once we get the jet fighters all taken care of and lined up, we will be free and clear. So... I'm not too worried about losing regular fighters. But again, we want to control the Yellow Sea. And then from the Yellow Sea, we will want to control the East China Sea. Once we get both of those all taken care of, it'll be no problem. We should be able to land an invasion. And that should happen around November. So come November, we should be able to land... And we should be able to take out the Japanese. At least that's the hope. The coup will strike at the same time. Surprisingly, uh, not a very strong coup. But that's okay. 
the coup will strike at the same time, uh, and we'll hopefully we'll be able to use the coup as uh, an aid, basically, to get our troops to land. So, that's the plan going forward. It, it largely depends on where the coup happens, but I think we should still be able to make landing, make a beachhead, and then support that beachhead with our army. I think we should be able to pull that off. And it's not going to be easy. But the coup, I'm hoping, will sufficiently distract the Japanese. They have a lot of troops, so we might just get raffle stomped. We'll try our best, though. How are we doing over here? We have one more Marine. We're not going to send our Marine out because we're, we don't have control of the naval space to Thailand. Or not Thailand. Wow, Taiwan. We do not have control of this naval space right now. We're currently fighting for control. Very close. How is the airspace doing? Still complete control. We are losing slightly more than they are, but we have them two to one at this point. So if we lose an extra one or two here or there, we can afford that. We can afford to trade one to one at this point. Like we just do have that much. East China Sea. We'll need a lot of fighters for the East China Sea. They have those AA guns. We're going to need a lot of firepower to take out the East China Sea. Where are we at on jet fighters? 300? That is going the right direction. Absolutely. Between those and our bombers, we might be able to do that. I, I, I do feel like November is a realistic goal. Also, our jet fighters can get upgraded again. It says two a day. I don't know if that's going to refill or what. Maybe it's just kind of sitting the way it is. Yeah, I think it's just going to sit the way it is. Jet Fighter Mark 1. Great variant. More reliable. And... Let's see. Maxed out the weapons. Reliability is way down. Jeez. Don't really care about the range. We have plenty of range. How about speed? Up the agility, up the speed. 425 is as good as it's going to get. Okay, so 5523. Jet Fighter Mark 2. Takes slightly more to produce, and they are slightly better. 0.32 per day. We're getting there. Japan, Afghanistan. China. So Japan, 40.84, 1. 0.86. Okay. China, I feel like we've reached a stalemate. It's just not going to work. So cancel China. Afghanistan, 47.56. We're making it. It's very slow, but we're making it. Let's take this Marine, add him to this group, just so he gets over there. Is that another tank? That's another tank. Yay. More tanks. All right, two more divisions heading over by railroad. Oh, just so we have just a little bit more. We have over 40 divisions now, so we can definitely do a respectable amount of damage to the Japanese with the amount of divisions that we currently have. Curious, what is going on over here? They have a lot of boats. Can we maybe drop off some naval? Yeah, like 30, 
40 naval bombers. Just drop them off in the area for some naval strikes. We'll see how that goes, because we have the air superiority right now. Plenty of fighters. I'm just curious to see if the naval bombers could maybe do anything to help out, because the, the British are having such a hard time. Still fighting the Italians? Oh, hey, Naval Bomber 3. Speak of the Naval Bomber, by the way. Don't really care about the carrier stuff. Close air support. I don't think we're even making it, but... There you go. All right, Naval Bomber 3. There we go. Slightly better. Okay. 2.43 fighters per day at this point. 120 infantry equipment per day is plenty enough. Jeez. We are producing more than enough of everything but fighters. Oh, it's July. That means next episode, we should be able to, to reach November. We should be able to launch a full-scale invasion next episode this, this episode we're a little uh, a little behind Alva class mark one one more AA that's all I can afford right yep just one more AA it slows you down a little ups your AA a little bit mark two there you go slightly more to produce but better against air Boy, we need to have that AA. My goodness. All right. Oh, ay, ay, ay. 100 political power. Good. Uh, what I want to do with our political power next is go for probably, yeah, air safety. Get the air accident chance to go back down. I feel like... We will be stronger for having a better air force. Especially if we're going to be using it so heavily to fight in this region. Are we? Wow. But our fighters have succeeded. We've lost several, but our fighters have succeeded. We have not bombed any ships. We have lost bombers. We have not bombed any ships. Let's see. You're down to 26. Jeez. We'll put you up to 25. How about that? And you're down to 250. And these are fighter threes. There you go. Now you can stop complaining you don't have enough fighters. Jeez. Also, how are we doing here? Solid. And here, also solid. Uh, let's see, 126. Can we just down you to like 70? 70 of those and 40 of you. There we go. And then you guys are all missing some as well. Yes. So we'll go down to 100. Because that's nice and easy. There you go. And we'll go ahead and just play for a sec. It should refill. Well, it'll try to refill. Pause. There. Yes, it has refilled. Good. Very good. Super Heavy Battleship. Yay. Super Heavy Battleship 2. All right. 1952. All right, we've already lost some fighters. That's fine. It's honestly just fine. Oh, 
Aha! We sunk a submarine. There we go. That's what I was hoping the naval bombers would be able to accomplish. We finally sunk one of their ships. Weaken the Japanese just a little bit more. And when we do decide to do our naval invasion, we will take everything. All of our naval bombers, all of our everything. And slap it right here. Right here. And just invade like a just crazy. Take out Kyushu and push through Japan as best we can. We'll take everything we can. We'll put it right here. So I hope it works. <laughs> I really hope it does. But that'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. Best to do for the channel. Share the video on Facebook and share it on Twitter. Thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter. Patreon links in the description down below. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with my heart's fine for the FTBA.